What up, Rebel Gamers, and welcome back to Texas versus Mexico slash ASA part four. I last left off making my way towards the uh, capital of the Allied States of America, of Cheyenne, but lack of supplies in the area stopped me in my tracks, and the U.S., not the U.S., but the ASA, uh, keep cutting my, uh, my supplies in half, basically, as you can see right here. So I'm going to try to send a few units there to reconnect with my supplies so I can get my supplies again. But so far, nothing is going good for me. Um, most of my units are damaged. I'm building more units, but my units are building very slow. And Mexico has started to take action in the last part. And already Nuevo Laredo and probably Harlingen. And other villages and towns nearby southern Texas will probably fall. And of course my capital, San Antonio, is nearby. So I gotta defend with these 17 units that I have. Plus the ones I'm building. Um, on the other hand, the U.S., of course, as you guys can see, has uh, finally entered the war in the last part as well. Or in the last stream, it was I was streaming the part. That's what happened. And uh, the U.S., has made a lot of gains against the ASA and right now I am uh, <laughs> I needed the help big time from the US so thanks to them but things are looking a little bit shallow right now since Mexico decided to uh, take action and the, uh, of course again supplies are really terrible right now so let's see what I can do in part four. There we go. Reconnect it again. Oh boy, Mexico is coming. Ever so slightly. Rapidly. And these won't be enough. The ones I'm building, not enough units. Oh boy. Corpus Christi. Oh, gas field's gonna fall. There's a tank right there. I should get him out if I can. Come on. Got out. Nice. Yeah, there goes that oil gas field. Took my oil derricks. And we got a few naval ships as well. That's nothing. Ah, crap. Oh, jeez. Look at all those air units go. That's... If I do lose to uh, Mexico, then it's over. I can't do anything about it. I mean, I'll try to defend to the best of my ability, but again, that's a, that's looking a little slicey. Or slim, I should say, not slicey. Yeah, Mexico overdid themselves in this campaign. <clears throat> they usually never build that many units. But, uh, what is this called? Divided America. That has changed, and they have massively builded up a bunch of uh, units. And a lot of cargo ships as well. For no use. Who knows? Let's take this artillery out here. want to escape all right yeah I really can't move I was trying to head to uh oh man what was it Fort Carson or Denver I needed a location town village fabrication etc etc so I can uh, get supplies from that area that's why I started to you know turn west so I can take a city or fabrication instead of, you know, taking the main road and going west towards Cheyenne. But again, I won't make it with these supplies that I currently have right now. And that's a supply truck. Hey, I'm not building any units. That's not good. That is not good. You guys need to repair. 
repair. Oh, crap. And I know that I've been uh, away for a while from uh, making videos. I usually upload videos about between two to four days every day, sort of like that. Two to four days it takes me to upload a video, but I've been uh, playing Metal Gear Solid 5 on the Xbox One since my brother bought it. And it's really been addicting, and of course, I've been a huge Metal Gear Solid fan since the first Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation 1, and I've beat that one, then completed two. It's a shame that I've never uh, completed or played three, so kind of sucks. But I'm probably going to buy it on my uh, PS Vita. The Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid HD collection includes two and three. I love to. So, holy crap, look at that. <laughs> but anyways, probably gonna buy the HD collection for the PS Vita and play both 2 and 3. And since I never played 3. Uh, played 4, loved it. Played Ground Zeroes. I've played Portable Ops on the PSP. And I'm thinking about buying Peace Walker, another uh, PSP title. Probably for the PS Vita since it's a classic now on the PSN store. But as of right now, I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 5, enjoying the hell out of the game. So addicting, so enjoyable, and uh, I definitely recommend the game. We need reinforcements. And if you're a Metal Gear Solid fan, and you don't have it yet, buy it now. And it's also a very long game, and I'm only like five. 6% through the game. Jeez. That's gonna take a while. I'm probably not gonna be finished with the game. I'm guessing probably by next year. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, my units can't repair. Can't make it anywhere. Stuck. Maybe he can make it. He did. How nice. Holy crap, they're really closing in. Ah, shit. That just made him even more angry. Oh no, what did I do to myself? That just pissed him off. But I am uh, eliminating the units one by one though, so... Oh, but they're sending a bunch more though. We'll see how things turn out from here against Mexico. I guess the war against the ASA is on pause. Ah, oh, and they split. Oh, again? Again. Just give me a break, guys. Come on. I'm getting my ass raped by Mexico over there. Take him out. Yeah. Uh, what's going on over here? They can't. AI is stupid. Now let's take him out. Recon out. I'm also sleepy, by the way. If you haven't noticed. <laughs> oh, crap. Five garrisons right there. Again? What the hell? Come on, man. <sighs> They're broke, basically. Sort of. Not yet. They're just a DEFCON 3. I'm at 1. And this guy needs repairs. Okay, so does the tank. So do you. Alright. 
Wow, what the hell? Nope. Gonna be denies every time they try to advance towards San Antonio. No. Laredo is still there hanging on. So is Brownsville. Cool. Ah, crap. I just want to focus on Mexico. Just stop for a moment, guys. Come on. You're getting your ass beat by the U.S. Just stay over there in that area while I'm doing my own little battles here with Mexico. Take all these supply trucks as well. Why not? Fuel them. Why not? Got him. Wait, lucky. Oh, we got him. Oh, nice. Alrighty. Alright, I think I wiped out <laughs> most of their advancing units that was supposed to advance into mainland Texas, but I stopped them in their tracks. And that's a big boost for morale right there. Eat it, Mexico. Eat it. Right back at you. Shooting missiles, huh? Alright, let's get away. Screw that. I don't want missiles at me. And they're sending more. Now we gotta deal with the ASA now. I just hope the US can at least make it to Cheyenne, I think. Or I'm hoping, I should say. Because I really do want. Ah, not again. I'm really hoping that at least the US can take Cheyenne. I mean, I was the one that was trying to get there first but now I'm reconsidering and I'm hoping the US gets there first so I can just deal with Mexico only instead of the ASA since you know this was supposed to be uh, Texas versus Mexico only but uh, the ASA had the button for no reason so now we're here <laughs> Now we're here. God dang artillery. Let's take him out. No, nope, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Staying right there. And that timer is done, so I'll stop it in a few seconds. M1A2 Abrams and a few repairs that some of these units need, especially these tanks. Holy crap. Anybody else? Yep. You do as well. Did I click the right thing? I did not see. Alright, there we go. Send you only. Alright. Wait. Nah, I'll keep you. Oh, what? <sighs> no matter what. Every time I look away, there's always one unit that tries to split it away. Split my land. Asshole. Out of here. Jeez. Okay. They're everywhere now. Oh, let's take him. Let's take him. Let's take him before it goes. Trying to cross the river, huh? Nope. Denied. Alright, I'll just pause it right here. Again, that was a big uh, boost for mor morale. For my units especially. Uh, defending against the advancing units of Mexico. From San Antonio. And I guess nothing has changed here in the ASA and I'm just hoping for the US to reach Cheyenne now so yeah subscribe like and I'll see you next time I also forgot to mention I just reached 700 subscribers and I wanted to thank all of the other world gamers that have subscribed like watch my videos follow me on twitch and also 
tune in to my streams on Twitch and Hitbox TV, etc., etc. 700 subscribers doesn't seem that much as to a thousand or a hundred thousand. I'm nearing a thousand, just 300 away, and I still can't believe it. Holy crap! But um, this is amazing. I love you guys. It's really appreciated and supportive. And of course, I'll continue to uh, play Supreme Ruler and other games in the future, near future. And of course, give away games to you guys on Steam. So again, thanks for 700 subscribers. You guys are the real MVP. You guys are awesome. We are the World Gamers. Thank you guys.